Well, we have a string of events coming on the heels of an updated alert. This alert was actually put out in the summer, but now there's an update to this bulletin, this National Terrorism Advisory Bulletin. Right before 9-11, they're saying that, well, the terrorist may target stadiums and sport venues now. Now, they say this in... Just tonight on Underground World News Live, I was talking about how there was a bomb threat at a stadium and they evacuated it. Well, since then, there have been three different bomb threats in the Cincinnati area. One at a mall, two at two, at two different football games, one in Mason, the other in Coleraine. They evacuated the, the whole stadium. People went flooding out of there, had uh, guards in the streets with guns and everything else. And this comes right as they put out this warning. Now, knowing how they operate, and I've seen, seen time and time again how they, they throw out there and hint at their next targets and what's going to go on, they move away from beginning and talking about ISIS-inspired to talking about homegrown extremists. And that's all this is geared toward. Meaning if, that if there's another attack coming up, that it's going to be done, and they're going to try to say that it was homegrown extremist. That's my warning to you. That's the direction they're taking this. They did so in Orlando. And at this next event, wherever it so, may so be, it looks to be an area that's going to target civilians. They're saying they're moving away from military type of targets and toward populated areas they have a lot of civilian targets including sports events at stadiums so with this warning being put out and then in Cincinnati all these threats and with a stadium being evacuated this is coming right before the big game games kick off and they kept talking about it here about the Cincinnati Bengals playing the New York Jets on September 11th September 11th in New York City he kept echoing it, so let's hope nothing happens. But I caught something that may have been a hint. They made a quick comment that one of the callers that called in said something about the tailgating area. Now, this kind of makes sense. Because if someone was wanting to do damage to a lot of people and bypass the security of the stadium altogether then all they have to do is find the little parking lot like they do here in Cincinnati. There's a huge lot down from the stadium that has nowhere near the security, if any. That has all kinds of people barbecuing, eating, drinking, tailgating. The perfect spot. So they mentioned that. I got to thinking about it. And after this evacuation, and it's all based on them pushing the fear, the fear, fear, fear. But you can't fear every single thing they're trying to ram down your throat in life, period. You have to just be smart and use discernment and pick up on the hints where they're at. And you have to know who's been pulling off these events in the past, that's for sure, because they're going to do it again and again. So the point here is it looks like they're definitely targeting these events now that football season's kicking off. It looks like the tailgating areas may be a potential target site with way less security than the stadium. And in the end, the label they're going to put on this is homegrown extremist. So that's where it sits right now. I'll continue to update with more information as I come across it. Any more threats, any more bomb threats, any more stadiums evacuated. But the timing of all this, it's not a coincidence to me. It's been Dabu 7. Eyes open.